Hey there, fellow Wackadoos. Welcome back once again to the, uh, the QA6 Asylum here. And as always, I am your guide and chief nut job around this joint. I'm Dr. Doodle right here. Uh, that's me, Dr. Doodle. Uh, so, yeah, here we are, episode number many fingers. I don't know, a bunch of them. Uh, I think seven? Yeah, probably seven. Well, now, the title of this one you probably see up there somewhere. Filed under success. <sighs> Crowd goes wild. <sighs> So, as you can probably guess, file under success, we're dealing with files, of course. So, but not just the QBasic files like your programming files, the files that you write for code. QBasic can actually generate files and, you know, delete them too. But you can create files and then write to them, read to them, and then do stuff with it. So there you go. That's what we'll be doing right here. Uh, you want to bring up the file. It's called uh, QBA07. QBasic, yeah, that's the one. And uh, here we go. Let's check it out. All right, now normally so this uh, the QBasic Asylum around here is a one-man show, but I tell you, even the Doodle can't do everything. So I'd like to introduce you to my production assistant. Here she is. This is Miss Gypsy. Hi, Gypsy. Say hello. Gypsy, Gypsy. Gypsy is my production manager. Her duties include running away, chasing lizards around, making sure my wires are well, well chewed. She likes doing that. And basically ignoring my instructions. But she helps a lot just by uh, being out of the Well, she's never out of the way. She always underfoot. But we love her anyway. And that's her. Alrighty. Well, here is QBasic 07. Uh, or QBA 07, excuse me. We're calling this file under success. So let's run this pick. See what happens. Start. Boop. Okay. We got five selections. Number one, open a file for input. Number two, open for output. Three, open for append, which is another, another type of output. Uh, or we can delete a file, number four. And number five is get the hell out of here. See you later. Bye, Felicia. Well, let's do this. Now, first of all, we want to open a file for input, but we have no file to input yet. So we got to open up for output to create a file. So let's do that. Number two. Boop. Hey, enter. Okay. Please enter file name. We'll call it. All right. How about this? Gypsy, please enter your text. Gypsy, well, maybe if I spelled it right. There we go. Gypsy is the most awesomest. Hey, awesome. Maybe, you know what? Maybe I could try this again. Gypsy is the, the, ah! one more time. Let's type in some text here. Gypsy is the most awesomest kitty, kitty, like ever, ever. There we go. Bang. Boom. Okay. So there we've got our file and let's see here. Uh, enter to return to the main menu. Boom. Now we go back to, there we go. Let's open our file for input. That's number one and bang. What file we're going to read? Let's read Gypsy. The one we just created. What does it say? Gypsy's the most awesomest kitty like ever. See, there's the file we just created. That's stored on the hard drive right down in the machine there. And now, so you can, this is cool because you can create, a, a, well, maybe if you got a game, you could have a, a high score file. So you keep track of who's got the highest scores. Or an initialization file, for example, uh, you might like a red screen or a blue screen or sound or no sound. And then you store all that stuff into a file in the mat, in the machine, in the, the bit box. Next time you play your game, it's whatever color you like. It's got sound or not, whatever. So let's go here and back to here. Now, let's try to open a file again. Enter. And gypsy again. Hey, come on, spell it right. There. Ah! Gypsy. Okay, so uh, press enter. Oh, enter your text. Here we go. So gypsy is totally awesome. And we loves her. And we loves her. Now oh, we'll spell it right. Bang. Enter. All right. Now there we go. Press enter to continue. So let's open our file again. And one. This is the open for input. Let's see what Gypsy's got to say. Now wait a minute though. So Gypsy is totally awesome, and we loves her. What about that first line where she was the most awesomest? Kit never. Well, you see, when you open for output, which is here, open for output right there, number two, what happens is it overwrites whatever's in that file. 
So we got that one on there. Let's try this. Number three, open for a pen. This is output again. We're still putting, so we'll gypsy. Boop. And we're going to put in here, as I said, she's pretty, pretty dead gum. Awesome. Boop. Bang. There. So press enter to continue. And what are we going to take, do now, of course, we'll look at oh, number one, open file for input. There it is. And please enter file, Gypsy. Hey, come on now. Gypsy, boop, look at there. So Gypsy is totally awesome. We loves her. And then, as I said, she's pretty dead gum awesome. So both lines are in there because when you open, enter, boop, when you open a file for output, if there's a file there, it just trashes it and creates a new file with whatever name you give it. But if you open a file for pretend, uh, append, excuse me, not pretend, well, you can pretend if you want, not much can happen. But if you open a file for append, then what will happen is it'll be an output file. You put stuff into it, uh, but then it'll save whatever's already there. It'll just tack it on the end. And then input, that's obvious. It brings it in, reads it. There, These two write, that reads it. Four, deletes a file. Do I have to explain that? Delete the file, and five, just quits the program. So well, that's uh, four, delete the file. And, no, actually, it's... Try. I didn't want to delete that yet. I want to show something pretty, pretty groovy here. Five. Boom. Let's go to uh, minimize this. Do, 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 do. All right. Now, minimize that and this here too. Now I think it's in QBasic. Let's see. Come on now. Mmm. Code. QBasic. And it should be a gypsy file. Where is it? Do, 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 do. Where is it? Where is it? I just saw it here somewhere, didn't I? Maybe I did. Yep, right there. Boom. Look at this here. Uh, open this with Notepad. Okay. I should have saved it with a text file, but anyway, look here. So, Gypsy is totally awesome. We love her. As I said, she's pretty damn awesome. So, here's the thing. We created this file in QBasic, but we're opening it now in Notepad, Windows Pad. How about that? You can actually, in fact, I can, look here, File, New, and we'll type in here. See? Ah! Well, maybe I'll type this here. I told it would work. Boop! There we go. See, I told you it would work. What do we save this as? File, save as. Yeah, we'll go to. This. Nope. This PC. Ah, but uh, I gotta navigate through these files here. Code. Uh, QBasic, boop, and told ya. Come on, stinking thing. No, QBasic. Oh, having problems here. No, I don't want any spaces because QBasic don't like the space as. Told ya, not text. Alright, bang. So what do we do now? We just created that file. Let's go back to QBasic. Alright, boom, and I'll full screen again. Now, Run, start, let's open a file, number one, boop. We want to see, told ya, no, if I spelled it right, told ya, dot text. Let's see, I told you it would work. what I tell you? It worked, I told you it work, and it worked. So the groovy thing here is, these are, you, QBasic obviously will control, create, QBasic obviously will create uh, source code files, like the, the programs are actual right, but you can create your, or, or generate new files using QBasic. So again, uh, initializ initialization file or a high score file, or maybe you want to create a database of uh, your collect records or something like that. You can create a database and then type in the titles and whatever records you have. It'll save that to a file. Then later you can bring that file up and see what you had. Add, subtract, delete, whatever. Pretty groovy, huh? So let's just take a look a minute here and enter to get out of here. Uh, five. Five, no, no, try this one here. Uh, four, delete file. All right, so are we about to uh, delete a couple files here, specifically the ones that we just created there, Gypsy, and, and I told you so, uh, or told you Todd text. So here we go, let's uh, do that to, come on now. There we go, minimize this, minimize that. Do, 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 do. let's look at, uh, okay, in here we got, where is it? Um, do, 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 come on now, where are you, Gypsy? I uh, know it's in here somewhere. I just saw it. There it is, Gypsy. Okay, open with the notepad. Doop. 
Yep, there it is, Gypsy. And Tolja's down here. Text, where's text? Come on now, text. Text, what is, no, wrong way. Never mind me, I'm just, just a little crazy here. Uh, I told you, text, where are you? And that, there it is. Bam, okay, so there's them, them files there. Now minimize this here. We'll go back here, QBasic. Come on, QBasic, Alt, Enter. And now we'll hit, what is it, four. Boop, delete a file, bang, and we're gonna, bye-bye, Gypsy. Uh, if I spell it right, come on. What is, it? Ugh, tough to type with a camera here in front of me. All right, enter file name, bang, file, Gypsy deleted. So there we go, complete, or yeah, continue. Uh, now we'll do this, number four again. This time we'll take toldya.toldya.txt, bye-bye. There, it's deleted. Okay, enter to continue. Five to jet out of here. Bye-bye now. And, okay, Alt, Enter. We'll minimize this piglet. Oh, there we go. Bing, bing, boom. Uh, here. So, let's see here. Uh, text. Look at there. Told you text. That's gone there because we deleted that. And where Gypsy would be, I don't know, somewhere under the G. Anyway, did, that one's gone too because we deleted them. So, there you go. Oh wait, and before I forget, before I go any further, I just want to thank all y'all, all y'all, for watching all my videos out there. Uh, if you have watching, if so, thank you very kindly. If not, it's a matter of you. Hey, I watch the video. Come on now. Anyway, yeah, so back to it. And all right, so in any case, uh, as I mentioned, there's different types of files, uh, computer files. You've got your text files, images, audio files, video, archive, system data, uh, source files, and program files. And it, notice they got the extensions like TXT for text, DOC for document, RTF, real type font, something like that. Uh, portable document file, then bitmaps for images, JPEGs, PNGs. Uh, basically, these are these are different types of 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 data but they all come down to data even program files you know, executables com batch files they're all just data that the computer it, it deals with each differently depending how it's programmed to run uh, for example a text file obviously it's got text image files it's got uh, numbers that represent uh, pixels for example the first pixel might have so much red so much blue so much green and it's got the, the numbers to, to give the RGB or red green blue values but basically, it's just numbers. Uh, and same with audio files, video files, things like that. However, as far as QBasic is concerned, there's really only uh, four, three types of four types of access, and we'll talk about those in just a moment. Actually, I was mistaken. Looks like there's five types of, of access. You've got input, an output, and a pen. Now, these that we spoke earlier, this input reads sequential uh, file data from a file. Output writes. Uh, sequential data to a file and the pen writes data but keeps the old data it doesn't overwrite it then you got random which opens a random access file and binary which opens binary random access for example will be a file used for a database where each record of a person's name their address uh, their income whatever have you all these files will be the same length so you can just jump through from from one record to the next uh, and instead of sequential one at a time you can jump up and down through the file binary on the other hand that's something like an audio file a video a, an image file where it's it's not text it's just a bunch of numbers that the computer can converts to whatever type it is whether it's a picture file whether it's an audio file so meanwhile gypsy is attacking the cords down here and as i said her primary duty as she sees it is to keep my cords well chewed and she does that too well you hear me yeah stop it so anyway, there's all the different types of files, but QBasic only knows five different accesses. One, uh, one is input, output, append. And again, these two write, but output, what, what that does, it writes to a file, and if that file already exists, it will overwrite the file, so any data in there is gone. Append opens an output file and then just tacks stuff on the back. So this is all sequential. In other words, you put one piece of information in, and you put the next that goes on the end, you put the next that goes on the end, the next, next that goes on the end. And when you read it, if you want the fifth line, you have to read the first four first, then read the fifth line. We'll see in the code, but in any case, random again, that's for a random access, like for a database, and binary is for uh, image files, video files, audio files, that sort of thing. Where are you going, Gypsy? She's hiding under the couch. So there you have, those are the five different types. Now let's talk, look at the code and see how it actually works. Hang on one minute, let me just click around here. Meow, meow, Gypsy girl. 
Come over here, squirt. Get busy. Do your job. All right. So as mentioned, uh, you saw here that the, well that the, we opened the file, we created it, and you can actually again you can uh, edit a file with uh, Windows Write or or Notepad, and then open it in Cubase and vice versa. As long as you do just basic text file with no no formatting, no colors, no font sizes, things like that, just basic font. But in any case, uh, so here's the, the program that does what you just saw. Now, first, we start out with on error. And can I actually get, oh, let me zoom out of here so you get, oh my goodness, I gotta zoom out more than a hair. All right, as we saw, we had uh, the, the, the program that uh, allows us to create a file and uh, save it and reopen it, like this and that. Uh, and this is the program that does it is QBasic QBA07. And first line here we got on error go to puke. Now what's this all about? Well, if you try to open a file that does not exist, you're not gonna have too much luck and it's gonna generate an error. So this tells it on error go to puke. So what's puke? Let's look down here. Come on now. Uh, puke. Puke. Okay, this label. The prints file not found. Please try again, and then press Enter key to continue. Dummy. This is just a, a, a dummy input. It's like basically it doesn't do anything with it. It basically just uh, halts the program until you press a key. Then it resumes back to restart. So you can try again. You can delete a file that does exist. Hopefully. So with that on out of, behind out of the way, we've got the restart. This is where it starts again. We clear the screen. Print all the messages, open file for input, output, append, la 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 la. Now we go to, this is where the program starts, select case option. Uh, case one, it goes up to the file input. Case two, the file output. Case three, file append. Uh, case four, file delete. And case five, close system. So that should be pretty simple. Just now we go to restart and back loop, 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 loop until we're done. Uh, until we hit a system command, which er, ends the program. So here's our subroutines which do the hard work here. File input, it clears the screen, sets the color, locates, please enter a file name. Now here's got the input, so you want a file name, you put in a file name here, and then it says open file name for input as one. This is where it opens a file. Uh, this is a file that already exists because we're just inputting data from that file that already exists. So it open file name, that's the file name that we give it, and we have to tell it what mode we want or input instead of output or append or binary or or um, what's the other uh, binary random excuse me then you give it a file number number one reason for the numbers you can have two three five fifty files open at a time if you want that would be good for a database you might have for example uh, all the, the clients a uh, client's names in one file you might have their addresses in another file phone numbers in another file so you could just have Input for file one, that would be the names. File two would be addresses, that sort of thing. Okay, so we, we're just dealing with one file at a time. So we open file name for input as one. Locate for, do input text, print text. So basically here, input number one, that's the file number one. If we wanted had five open and we wanted input from file number five, obviously we would type input five. The text is the, the uh, variable that it's gonna store that input into print the text, that's the line of text that is in the file. It's input, got it, put it in the text, and then we print text. Loop until end of file one. You may not have seen this before. EOF is end of file one. So basically it just keeps looping, looping, looping until it reaches what? The end of the file. Closes one, and then brings us back to return, back to the main, uh, main menu because it's done printing everything. Now end of file, you can again, would go up to help, help here and look at end of file. It'll tell you more information about that. As I've mentioned in the past, anything open command, uh, print, input, I'll, anything you have a question about, go up to the help right up there and look for it and it'll give you more information. Now file output is the second uh, subroutine and that obviously that creates a file. So we uh, locate, input, please enter a file name. Remember we put in Gypsy and that, that created the file Gypsy. Hello Gypsy. Uh, so open file name for output as one. Here we are again, we're opening the file, and since it's output, it's creating that file as number one. Go sub, get input. And then we go to the input routine, which we'll see in a bit. 
a file a pen. Okay, file a pen, clear screen, same thing basically, locate uh, the file name. Now open file name instead of for output, for append as number one, go sub get input. So what's get input? Right here. Please enter your text, uh, press enter key to return the main menu, and then we do just loop around line input. Line input is where we get the text from the screen, then uh, print to number one the text. So in other words, we get line in, uh, yeah, line input text, and if length of text is zero, it means there's nothing there, you just hit the return screen. Then, if it's greater than zero, then print one, the text, print the text to file number one. Loop while the length of text is greater than zero. In other words, if you just hit return and typed anything in, it stops loop, drops out, and you're done. So both the uh, file output and file append use the input routine. File delete should be pretty simple. It deletes the file. You input the name that you want to delete. It says close and then kill file name. Now close closes any open files that may be open. Uh, if you got 10 files, close will close all of them. Uh, but if you want to close just one specific file, maybe the third file, you could close number three and that would close the third file. So a kill file name, which we we put input here to de define what the file name was. Kill de just deletes it. And print file name deleted and enter press enter to continue. Dummy again is just a dummy input. We're not actually using the, the data. We're just well, uh, waiting or halting the program until we can do something else. Then we'll return back to main screen. And that should be about it. It's probably pretty confusing, but if you look through it again, look through the code pretty quickly or pretty carefully and you'll see what's happening. Uh, it's really pretty simple. Uh, now, as far as random and binary input, uh, we won't talk about that. That's a whole lot more complicated. You have to know record sizes, things like that. But uh, this is how we do it. And by the way, we are doing text files only because we're sending text to it. Like, for example, where's the um, file output? Uh, file up. Uh, hmm. Here we go. Print number one text. Now we're, we're typing in text. We could just as easily type in numbers and print those to a file, and it would be a number file or a, a numeric file, I guess. So the re only reason that it's text is because we're sending text to it. Now, all these, the, the text files and whatever file we create using the input, output, and append, those are sequential files, meaning when you put some data in, it writes it to the top. You put something else in, writes it in the next line, the next line, the next line, the next line, unless you use output, in which case it just creates a new file, deletes the one that was there first. Then when you input, you read the file, it reads in the top line, the next line, the next line, the next line. Random again will go, you can go from this line to the 30th file line, to the 17th line, back and forth, wherever you want to. And binary is the same idea, but that we won't touch on that on this particular uh, lesson or video. Uh, am I boring you as much as I'm boring myself? Anyway, so we're going to get to the, uh, to the superior section in one moment, and then, yeah. Hang on, uh, got any questions? Hey, you want to yell at me or something? Just put them down in the thinger there. And that's that. Okay, talk to you later. Bye. Oh, hang on a second. Just hang We still got the superiors. Hang on. Superiors! superiors. <laughs> All right, so, well, as I mentioned, it's time for the superior section in the video. Superiors! And, well, today we're talking about a fella, one, he calls himself One Load Cook. One lone coder. It's a mouthful, but I tell you, this man again, just like old Nick, he knows what he's doing, and uh, it's it's well beyond anything that you've seen here on this little mess of a page. Uh, but I tell you again, it's, it's more C code than the basic, but the concepts are there. And when you get to the point where, if if and when you get to the point where you want to continue past Q basic. Get into C. One lone coder is going to help you a lot because he knows a lot of good stuff. And as before, I will create, uh, take a uh, screenshot of his page so you can see it. Now, uh, it's it's called himself one lone coder for whatever reason. The the name on the screen is J A V I D X nine, but you'll see that in the screenshot. And you can check out his page. A lot of cool stuff. And 
yeah, that's check them out. That's all I can say. Very cool stuff. So that about wraps it up for this episode of Dr. Noodle's Q Basic Asylum. Uh, pretty sloppy, I know, but who am I kidding? Every episode is a freaking sloppy mess. Yeah, so, and check it out. Uh, download the, 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 the code there and look through it, modify it, see what it does. Any questions, leave them down that, that thing there and scream at me. Say, hey, dummy, help me out here. What are you talking about? Uh, but I guess that's all I got for now, so... Hasta la pista, baby. Honey, have you seen Gypsy? I don't know where she is. <laughs> Crazy cat.